So I'm always talking about this is the future of video editing, but this is the future of AI and what video editing will actually look like. If you don't know yet, breaking news, Adobe Max is Adobe's yearly conference where they show you the new things and latest trends and updates. And like I already said, we have things like Firecut AI, AI video editing in the timeline, and my other video I talked about Envato using B-roll, but I digress. First we have is Project Stardust. What that is, is photo manipulation through AI. What that means is instead of masking and like doing the clone stamping tool, what you can do now is select your subject, drag the subject over, automatically generative fills, and there you go. You just created your own masking without having to use generative fill at all. Does it automatic? We also have seen other things like, hey, generative fill, I can change the color of my shirt in a photo, I can change the background. Yes, you can also, it's much more articulated now and you can use that in this example that Adobe has using. Insert the dog, change the color of this person's shirt, as well as moving a person left to right using generative fill. And you take that, mask out everybody, you just took a photo using robots and you're like, wow, that is pretty good. But you're like, Peter. Okay, that's cool and off with photos, but we are video creators. What are we going to be doing with video? Well, that is going to soon to be released, maybe in the future, I don't know yet, with Firefly, but AI generative fill. Let me explain. So let's say you're doing a talking vlog, right? But you're out and about, you're in public, and oh my god, there's a bunch of people that are in the background. Well, guess what? I can use generative fill to just remove that people like it was a video, no problem whatsoever, mask the background essentially, rotoscoping, masking me, but keeping the background as is and using generative fill within video. Adobe gives the next example where there's a man and he has no tie on. What he does, mask the tie, automatically track mask, adds the tie and boom, bada bing, bada boom. AI tie right there. And the cool thing about this is, yeah, that's just a tracking 3D track mat. You can do that track mat onto After Effects, drag that on. But as you see in the video, there is shadows and lights and the tie itself automatically adjusts its color and brightness as if it was real life. That is pretty terrifying. And last but not least, in the very last example, there is essentially a latte art in a cappuccino. Person walks, hey, I can change that entire latte art by using AI. It will adjust and move and boom, you just made AI with video. Who knows how long this will come into play with a Firefly, whether or not this even could be integrated within Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects, but a lot of these things they're not necessarily mind blasting, but it takes a lot of a work that let's say a video editor like me would have to go into After Effects. 3D camera tracking tool, tracking cool tool, pick whip, null, null. Now you can do that with just a click of a button, click of this, click that. Who needs to learn After Effects nowadays? Jokes aside. But this, guys, is the future of video editing. We can essentially use Photoshop with Premiere Pro going into the near future. You can have, I can change the color of my shirt. I can change the background. Well, I technically can already do it, going through the workflow with Photoshop. As long as I don't move and the ISO of this camera does not change, I can change the background just by using things like generative fill and using, you know, the PNG. But I can now do that with video. And yes, you can already technically do this, with having a reference frame in After Effects and having that fill, but this is with the enhanced power of AI. Of course, not mind blasting for some, but mind blasting for some others as well. So what do you guys think? What do you think about these tools? Pretty much masking out people, masking out, this is all video technology. But yeah, what do you guys think? This is still the future of generative AI, but like I already said in my other video you can check out, this is gonna probably be based on a credit system. Meaning you can only do so much of these effects if you purchase X amount of credits. But now, without having to use a plugin, this is gonna be based within Adobe. So Adobe is focusing on AI. 
heavily going into the next year. If you can get serious about content creation, you want to use AI to edit your videos, link in the description below to a playlist, help me help you, as well as you can get unlimited stock templates and edits all through Envato. And if you want to get any more help one-on-one -on -one with me coaching in terms of what's the future of editing, what does it mean for me? Everything, like I said, description below. You're watching Broke Variant Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.